Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and let's get right into this video. Today we're going to be doing some glittery, clear, like iridescent 3D nail art type of nail design. Here is my nail inspiration. I really like this because I just like how glittery it is. I like how jam packed it is. It has charms and I just really want to do this. I feel like it's a nice nail set to start off the new year with. I am tired of using nude poly gel to be honest with you so the poly gels i'm going to use i have this clear poly gel from this brand i ran out of clear from mccart that's why i'm using this one you know hopefully it's going to be good enough and then i have some glitter poly gels this one is like a purpley glitter very sheer color and then this one is more of a clear with purple glitter this one is also another clear with different colored glitters so that's for the poly gel okay and then for nail decoration we're going to use some pearls. I have here some more glitters. I'm going to use this star one iridescent clear color. Some of these hearts and then these stars. Clear iridescent chrome powder. And then this I also have had for a while but haven't used it. It's this glittery gel. It's so pretty. I think this is going to be perfect for this set. And then we're also going to use these star charms. And that's pretty much it. So let's just get right into this nail set. So here are my natural nails. They are looking pretty crusty. They do need some help. We're going to start off with some nail prep. I'm just using a cuticle pusher and I'm going to push back the cuticles. Okay, hi guys. So this is actually far, far in the future me. I recorded this video all the way back in January. I actually recorded it when I said I would be coming back from my break. If you guys remember in my New Year's video, I said that I was only going to take a week break and you know i tried to come back so i did film this video when i was supposed to but unfortunately i just could not get myself to edit it but during my break i was able to film a few more videos so i do have some filmed i just need to edit them so i'm working on that hopefully i can get a few more videos out this month and also this video was filmed before i kind of decided i wanted to change up some of the style of my video so this one is more of our normal tutorial type of video and I'm still going to continue doing this style of video as well just like our normal style just something that's comforting and I know how to do it so like I don't really have to think about it but with my new video style I really have to think of the camera angles and the ASMR stuff which I actually really enjoy doing so I don't mind but this is just like our roots this is where we came from <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to take a fine grit sanding band and I'm going to file over the surface of my nails, but I'm just doing this really quickly and very gently. Okay, now I'm going to put on a peel off base coat because I'll be taking off these nails after I finish them. But if you're doing your nails and you want them to last, just skip this step and then we're going to move on to the nail tips. Okay, so I sized out the tips and now I'm going to glue them on. Okay, now I'm going to trim down the nail tips and I want these to be pretty long actually. I don't know. I feel like we should start off the year with some long nails. Like, I mean like really, like really long. I feel like I haven't done super long nails in a while. I mean, besides the snow globe nails actually. Okay, so now I'm just going to file the nail tips a little and I'm also going to add that crescent moon shape to the tip of the nail. I just feel like that'll look really nice with these. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm going to remove the shine from the tips of the nails. So tips are all shaped. I'm going to add on a layer of base coat. Okay, so now on to the fun part. Finally gonna get putting on the poly gel. I'm ready to use some glitter. So these nails are mostly clear. I'm gonna take out so that I don't have so much stuff in my area. I'm going to take out some of the glitters I wanna use. Okay, so from the reference picture, it looks like we can go pretty crazy with the glitter on all the nails except for the middle finger. The middle finger is a bit more toned down because it has like the big charms on it. I guess it doesn't really matter actually. So we're going to start on the pointer finger and I guess I'm just going to add glitter and whatever else I want really in this nail. I think I'm going to start with a little bit of this gel with the iridescent flakes in it. It's just so pretty. I should have been using this. I kind of forgot I had this. I'm glad these nails are long. I feel like I haven't done extra long nails for a nail set recently. Again, besides the snow globe nails, I think I'm going to cure this and then I'm going to put clear poly gel. Oh no, I should have stuck the charms into this. Oh, it didn't cure. Okay, I think I'm going to stick some of these glitters into this. It didn't really cure all the way. Okay, and then I do see on some of the nails, like it has a little bit of purple. So I thought this poly gel would be perfect for that because it has glitter in it and it can add that touch of purple color. I should have put this on before I did the glitters. Oh well, but I'm just gonna spread that out so that it's really sheer. And just kind of put it around the nail. not too much glitter but i just really wanted a lot of glitter i hope this is good i'm gonna cure this now okay and now that i have all the glitters on the nail i'm just going to encapsulate the whole thing with clear i hope this clear is gonna be good i mean i can't remember if i used it or not i don't know as long as it shows all the glitter then it should be fine we're gonna be putting a lot of stuff on this anyway like more nail art Oh, this feels right glitter extra long so this is pretty much the base of our nail and then we're going to add different nail art and nail charms on it i'm pretty much going to do the same thing on this nail on the other nails kind of switch it up maybe put more purple on some nails maybe different one of these glitters i do really love this iridescent gel i think this is so nice so i'm going to keep using more of that i also thought it would be a good idea to just kind of update you guys on i guess just a couple things that's happened on my break first off i just want to say if you guys have not seen my newest video before this one my first ever nail vlog that's just kind of what i'm calling it i don't really you know is it really considered a nail vlog i don't know but i like calling it a nail vlog it just really feels like you're coming along with me to do my nails and most of the clips are in real time and also the real sounds of everything i'm doing so it just feels like a vlog and i also really love the asmr elements to it i actually find asmr nail videos to be my favorite nail videos and i like to watch them before i go to sleep they just like help me 
we go to sleep. So like if someone says that they go to sleep to my videos, I actually see that as a compliment because that means I'm relaxing enough that you want to fall asleep. So I think of it in a good way. But yeah, I just really like how the video turned out. Currently right now, that video has been uploaded for a couple hours as I'm doing this voiceover. So far, it seems like you guys are really liking it. I'm definitely going to continue with our nail vlog series. So actually this nail set, it was kind of forgotten after I did them. I had did them beginning of January and then I just stopped doing nails for nearly two months. And so I almost forgot I even had this video, but I had actually already started editing it, but I don't know what is wrong with me. I just didn't finish it. So now I want to finish it because it's actually a really cute nail set. I definitely want to share this one. Okay, so I put all the glitter on all of the nails and now I'm going to encapsulate the rest of them with the clear poly gel. So back to the events that took place during my nearly four month break. First of all, four months is really crazy. It was more like three and a half months, but still that is really long. So one of the more notable things that happened was I got food poisoning. I have never ever experienced food poisoning before, but it was honestly so horrendous. I feel like if I ever hear like an influencer here and there say they got food poisoning, I feel like I've never heard them describe it as how bad it actually is. <laughs> like I'm just like, oh yeah, you know, it's just food poisoning. You're Fine. but no it was so bad i literally could not get out of bed for a whole day i i don't think i've ever been that sick that i literally could not get out of bed and then it took like a week to recover from that so it was honestly really scary but besides that throughout my break i was working on nails i did do some nail sets i kind of got more into gel x nails and press on nails i got some really nice full cover tips from shein which i will be doing a shein nail haul soon because i got so much cool nail room decoration stuff and nail tools i have a huge haul that i will post for you guys soon but i got some nice full cover tips from there i was able to do some press on nails because i feel like i didn't have good square full cover tips oh yeah my birthday passed my birthday was in march and i did do some birthday nails and i will also be posting that soon but yeah they were my 20th birthday nails i don't feel like a 20 year old i still feel like a little kid but the nails i did were so freaking good my birthday nails were definitely very different from my past birthday nails if you guys know about my past birthday nails they were very set on like color themed and like every year i did a different color and it was very focused on like my age and stuff so like i had the number 17 in, in the set and then number 18 but this year i wanted to do something a bit different like just a really complex nail set and had like a bunch of elements to it and it took me so long and it turned out so good so i'm excited for you guys to see that one i feel like it definitely gave 20 year old but honestly that's about it for my break i just hope you all can forgive me for being gone so long and i'm going to try my very best to stay consistent and not take such a long break. Okay, so all the poly gels on. Here are how the nails are looking. So now we are going to get reshaping these nails. I have my McCart dust collector and hand file. And yeah, we're just going to get reshaping these.
Okay, so the nails are all shaped. Now we're going to start on the nail art. So I'm going to start with the Blooming Gel nail art. I'm going to use a white and a light purple. And then I'm using some Blooming Gel so that the gel polish will spread. So Blooming Gel is very thick, so I try to put as thin of a layer as I can. So I'm going to use my nail art brush for this. I usually do this type of nail art with a dotting tool, but the last time I tried it, I'm pretty sure I used the nail art brush and it was a little easier. Basically, we're just going to make little dashes, but in kind of a wavy line, and then the blooming gel will make it spread. And then I'm going to wipe off my brush and quickly do the purple. It's a bit much. It's a bit much. I didn't realize that it was going to spread really that much. I'm going to wipe this off. <laughs> okay, I take it back. I will try it with the dotting tool now. Hopefully it doesn't spread as much. Maybe I shouldn't be using blooming gel. It just spreads like a little too much. Can we talk about the nail art really quickly? Because this nail art really just brought the whole nail set together. The nail art was so cool. I love this style of nails, the clear glittery background, and then just all the different types of nail arts. It just looks so good. I hope you can see why I just couldn't let this video be forgotten. <laughs> this video still needed to go up because the set is so cute. Okay, now I'm going to add on the other nail art, some sparkle nail art, also some dots. Okay, so now I'm going to take some rhinestone glue. I'm just going to draw on some 3D nail art. So towards the end of the video, I think I stopped talking when I was actually filming this. I probably got tired because look at how long this nail set is. I think this nail set took me a few hours, so I was probably getting tired at the end. Seems like I just added on some more 3D nail art, cover that in iridescent powder, and then put on some pearls. And then I added a star charm to the middle finger.
now we're just going to add on some cuticle oil. And here are how the nails turned out. Let me know what you guys think of this nail set in the comments. So I think this set turned out so cute. First off, the shape of these nails. They are extra, extra long and they have that really nice crescent moon shape at the tips. Next, all the glitters. I love the glitters. I like how it's clear glitters with a, like a touch of the purple color. It just all fits so well together. And then the nail art. The nail art is definitely my favorite part. It kind of brings everything together. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't talk too much. It's just been so long since we last talked. We just had to chit chat in this video a little bit. But it is so finally nice to get some videos posted and talk to you guys again. I've really missed you guys. Really don't like disappointing you guys by keeping you waiting for so long. You know, I just tried my best to get myself out of that rut. And, you know, it did take me a while. But now I feel like nice and fresh. We have a channel revamp. I changed the banner. Changed my profile picture. We have a new intro on my videos. It just, everything feels nice and fresh fresh new style of video new thumbnail styles we just really needed that so i'm feeling really good about posting again yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this one let me know what you think of this nail set make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will talk to you guys next time bye